Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on June 19th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to The Daily Do. And thank you so much for tuning in. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours of injury of our sun. Large plasma filament top left and then another one top right. We've seen multiple interactions with sunspots on the earth facing side and as well the back side. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, that plasma filament was very tall and there's another one stretched across the surface here on the left hand side. We're going to be keeping an eye on that over the next couple days as it comes around to an earth facing party. Look at the last 48 hours outgoing. There were a couple CMEs taking off in the outgoing direction and as well plasma filament eruption from the northeast region of our sun. Closer look here at what's going on. We had the plasma filament destabilize and swirl around the surface of the sun and then you finally ejecting into the abyss. And then hours later, reacting on the other side, antipode region, large plasma filament eruption there. And same thing, very tall, swirling around. Northern hemisphere, see that plasma filament swirling around. And then a plasma ejection from one of the powerful sunspot regions that are Earth facing right now. Having a look at multispectrum here, you can see plasma filament, bottom left, and big coronal hole in the northern part of our sun. We've seen M class solar flares, all minor. Look at that though. Amazing heliosphere action here, 171 angstroms. Amazing loops and six sunspot regions, three of them major and earth facing right now. Look at these sunspot regions in motion. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Space weather conditions currently, we are under R1, a minor radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds are coming in at 510 kilometers per second right now, and that's down from up and over 600 kilometers per second yesterday. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, steadily rising up into the strong sea range. But multiple M-class solar flares, four of them, all minor at best. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity sitting at a KP2. Current Space Weather Prediction Center showing the last space weather event that we just went through and as well another one coming in. For the 22nd into the 23rd, little green circle there on these spirals is Earth. And on these spirals, ISPWA Space Prediction Spiral, the yellow circle is Earth, showing most recent CME taking off outgoing position towards Mars. Now let's have a look at Alaska 2, showing all the space weather activity and all the CMEs the last three days as we've seen some large ones, some small ones, but nothing major has been thwarted our way. So again, much love and thank you so much for watching today. Still some pretty active sun events right now. Now let's get to earthquakes, looking at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Earthquake globe here, largest being a 5.7 earthquake, South Sandwich Islands. That was a more northward through the South Sandwich Islands. South America, deepest earthquake the last 24 hours, 226 kilometer depth, San Antonio de los Cobros. As well, earthquakes, minor activity moving up from Chile, Peru, and into Colombia. Notable earthquake here, Magadi. Jamaica, 4.0 magnitude, lots of activity. Puerto Rico as well, largest being a 3.8. And as well, El Salvador with a 4.1 magnitude. Minor unrest across central United States. As well, notable earthquake here, New Hampshire, New Hampshire, Haverhill, New Hampshire. And the largest across American soil being a 3.2. White City, New Mexico. New earthquakes at Mauna Loa, atop Mauna Loa, as well, Aleutian Islands with a 4.4. And then a very quiet 
West Pacific plate right now. Philippines and right through Fiji. Very quiet. We've seen this region in a 24-hour period most times with many more earthquakes. So heads up, 4.8 there, mid-Indian Ridge. Activity up into the Indian Plate. And that's last 24 hours for earthquakes. Still waiting for something to brew up into the Pacific Northwest United States. Minor tremors continue. Not the same numbers that we were seeing a couple weeks ago, but I'm watching. And I will be keeping you updated on the latest developments along the West Coast of the United States. This is a quick browse at the last seven days for Shakers around the world. And again, thank you for pressing play. Thank you for being a part of this community and family. Daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast, sulfur dioxide emissions maps, brought to you by our 48 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. No major new eruptions here to report, but notable activity up into the Aleutian Islands of Alaska. Big plume here swirling around parts of New Zealand and as well through the Philippines and the submarine volcanoes through the Marianas Trench. Lots of SO2 coming out there. But look at this a big swirl of SO2 is going to be swirling around New Zealand the next couple days. Stuck in a large high pressure ridge. Carrying on here overlooking Europe and Africa. No major eruptions to talk about right now. We still have 48 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. Now let's have a look at world weather here brought to you by windy.com. Overlooking Africa, Europe and Southeast Asia. Monsoon rains very heavy and prevalent all week long. Storms through Central Africa. And about three low pressure systems affecting parts of Central Europe and as well the United Kingdom this week. Could see a strong one in the long range forecast. But very big systems in the southern hemisphere right now. Wait until you see the polar vortex as it has totally ramped up speeds of over 400 kilometers an hour. No major typhoons or cyclones developing here. But strong system and lots of rain heading into parts of Western Australia. And as well, strong systems moving up into China. Now let's have a look over North America. And as well, Tropical Storm Alberto. As that is getting ready to make landfall tonight and into tomorrow. Let's have a look at current satellite imagery at this monster of a storm. This is very large in size tropical system for the first tropical system of 2024 and it looks like it could ramp up into a possible category one making landfall but look at all the moisture very dark red is heavy heavy and very high cloud tops very heavy rain so mexico guatemala honduras you guys are all under flash flood watches and warnings and as well, some pretty big storms developing all through Bermuda, Jamaica. And then watch this system eventually get up into parts of eastern Canada. Long range forecast there, Sunday into Monday for next weekend. And then a long range forecast, big system here developing through the Canadian prairies. Lots of moisture this year through the Canadian prairies. Thank God, because it's been very dry and hot the last few years. Overlooking South America, some pretty strong systems coming through this week along the shorelines of Chile and Argentina. And looking through the Atlantic, big high-pressure ridge not allowing any storms to form. So no hurricanes just yet, other than Tropical Storm Alberto. Now let's have a look at our upper-level winds, brought to you by NullSchool.com. This is 10,000 feet and higher. Showing very strong winds in some areas, 400 kilometers per hour. 
This is our polar vortex depicting where our south pole is as those very strong winds swirl around what we think is our south pole. Then let's just go back to last year at this time and see where it was swirling around. As you can see, we've seen a dramatic shift, probably about 200 to 300 kilometer shift in these upper level winds right now. Quick glance here around the rest of the world as we're still, El still waiting for El Nino to wrap things up in the Pacific. It's going to be a very interesting hurricane season, everybody. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by Tropical Storm Alberta over the next few days. And again, thoughts and prayers going out to everybody worldwide. Much love. Grateful to have you along for the journey. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.